Greetings and welcome back to EdTech Moment, where we take just a moment to help you integrate technology into your classroom. I'm your host, Tim McKean. This is episode 20, and today we're continuing to work on building your Prezi presentations. Last time we took a look at the Zebra tool and how to zoom and rotate your objects. We also looked at the insert menu and learned how to insert shapes, graphics, and YouTube videos. Today we're going to take a closer look at frames and how you can use those to give structure to your presentations, and then finally how to navigate through your presentations once they're complete. Let me click back to my other tool. Again, talking about frames, frames help you uh, give some structure to your topic. So I can actually add different frames, and this shows Prezi where I want to zoom in on things. So I've added a frame around this subtopic, okay? And so now, when I click on that frame, again, I can rotate that frame, that whole frame together, okay? But now when I'm in my play mode, okay, so I come down to play mode, and I click on a frame, it zooms to that frame. Okay, if I click on an item, it zooms to that item. So if I click on the arrow, it zooms to the arrow. If I click in an empty place, it zooms back out to the main area. Okay, if I click on just my picture, it'll zoom into the picture. So if you have a series of pictures you want to show as a slideshow, it's easy just to click. And again, this is what's non-linear about it. It doesn't have to go from the first thing to the second thing to the third thing. You can have a general canvas with all your ideas there and then navigate freely among them. Okay, if I want to zoom in, show subtopic. If I want to zoom in and show the video, I can just click on the video. Okay, or if I want to show this group, I click on that frame and it shows that frame. So that's the reason to have frames. You can group things, group topics, so I don't just have to zoom in and see one item at a time. I can actually click on a frame and it'll zoom to fit that frame directly. Let me hit escape to get back out of my presentation view. So we looked at the insert menu, all the different things that we can insert. We looked at the frames and there's different kinds of frames, circle frames, bracket frames, square frames. And then also this hidden frame. So if you don't want to see that things are grouped together, but you just want to be able to zoom to them, then you can use a hidden frame. You know it's there, uh, but your viewers that are seeing the presentation don't have to see that there's a frame there. Let's go back, look at the path for a second, okay? The path makes Prezi a little bit more linear if you want that. If you want that structure of moving from the first thing to the second thing to the third thing, then you can set up a path that you want Prezi to follow. Simply double click on frames or items to add them into the storyboard lineup over there on the left. So you can see on the left that we automatically start out with our big view, which is really nice in a presentation to start with the big picture and then get into more detail. But if I wanted to zoom in on the word main topic, I would just double click on main topic and you see that it adds that to the storyboard. If I want the next thing to be subtopic frame, then I double click that and it adds that to the storyboard. If I want the video to be next, it adds that. If I want the picture to be next, it adds that. And you can see that there's this line, one, two, three, four, and it's showing me the path that the camera, if you will, is going to take as we move through this presentation. Okay? And then I can add my big frame at the end again. And so now I can see, I have it set up so that it's going to move through them in a set order. And you can set this all up ahead of time so that you have a path that you're going to follow. So now when I go into presentation mode, and so now I can navigate uh, manually. If I want to click on the topic one, it goes to topic one. If I double click in the frame empty area, it goes back out. If I click on a frame, if I click on a picture, so I can still do the non-linear presentation and navigate through my items. Okay. But if I click next or use the arrow or use a clicker, then it'll follow through. Let me start with the big frame here. It'll follow through just the way I planned it going to the subtopic, going to the picture, and then back out. Okay, So you can use both nonlinear presentation styles or a linear presentation style even within Prezi, moving around within your objects and frames, showing exactly what you want while still keeping things in context visually for your audience. Thanks again for joining us for EdTech Moment. Visit our website at edtechmoment.com. Subscribe to our show in iTunes so that you can be automatically updated when new episodes are available. We want to know what you want to know. Bill and I would like to answer your questions. So send in your questions to feedback at edtechmoment.com or tweet questions to us at edtechmoment. We're also very glad once again that this show can be brought to you by audible.com. You can get a free audio download at audibletrial.com slash edtechmoment. 
with over 100,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or other MP3 player. Thanks again for taking a moment 